Yes, you. I'm just coming from a talk with Andrews. The situation's serious. Very serious. There's only minutes left before the ship sinks, and there aren't enough boats, even for the women and children. I need to get on a boat. I'm an important man. There are factories, investments. I must get on a boat. Letter? Forget the letter. Don't you see? We're going to die, all of us, if we don't find a boat. I'm going to talk to the captain. He'll let me on. I'll tell him. He'll order them to. Going to the devil full of gin. Georgia, on deck, I suppose, with the women and children. Or Sasha, she wouldn't stay with me. Not much point to me now, is there? Maybe there never was. Won't be much longer now, will it? She's sinking quickly. Cheers, and uh, good luck to you. If you've come to get me to leave, I'm not go- I'm not leaving Willie. We went for a walk. You are proving surprisingly hardy, so perhaps you'll honor one more request. A wise decision. You could save a life. The Lady Georgia's, of course. I've poisoned her. If you decide again... Good. Listen closely. The painting. The Von Willi hid from me. Find it. I wait here. Bring me the painting. You shall get the antidote. If you refuse, the Lady Georgia will die. Are we clear? Good. I despise miscommunication. Find the painting. Willi was always expounding his ideas. Sadly, he neglected to share his last look for it.
chosen me to get something from you. He's waiting for you in the lounge with an antidote. Give him what he wants, or I'll die. Please help me. You seen the Astors? My dear, how did you ever miss them? In the gymnasium, JJ was dissecting one of these wretched jackets to show his wife. Horrid. They go with nothing. Nothing. Couldn't be more tiresome. Though white did go with JJ's blue suit. But then he always cuts a figure. The Astor men. Such sharp dresses. Such prizes. As she figured out. Madeline, his child bride. This deck's... That's the tick. Now get up on the... That bastard Conklin and his wife. As bad as he is... Mrs. Conklin, she's stolen my baby. I, I let her hold the baby so I could get my hands free. I let her and she took him. She told the steward that he was hers. He wouldn't let me follow her up. She's leaving with my baby. Easy, Shay. Those stewards... They won't let us back up the first class. It don't take brains to see what's gonna happen to this ship. Now you listen. That German gave me this painting. He's never come back for it. Get the baby and it's yours. Take the letter. Find her. See if she'll trade the baby for it. Please, you're our only hope. You don't and I'll chuck this painting into the sea? Get moving. You may. There's not much. What do you want? He's mine now. No one will know. He'll have a good life with me instead of that penniless girl. Leave! I'm getting on that boat. The letter. You have it? Nobody's allowed. I'll try to remember you on the way up. Good luck! You got him back, old thing. Thank you. Here, take the painting. <laughs> no use, I got for it. Go on, get up top with me, sister. I'll never forget what you done. God protect you. I say, old bean, absolute madhouse, don't you think? Yes, do get in. We so enjoy the company. Hoist a leg, old bean. In you go. <laughs> Vlad left the Titanic with the Rubiot. The money garnered from the sale would finance the violent assassination of Archduke Ferdinand at Sarajevo in 1914. The World War followed. As for the painting, it left with me. <laughs> the plans proved useless. In the month following the sinking, the War Office scrapped the proposed deployments in a cost-cutting measure. But the canvas? <laughs> As the only artifact saved from the Titanic, the painting became famous. Along with its creator, a rather excitable Austrian named Adolf Hitler, who makes a lucrative career to this day, peddling overpriced alpine vistas to the carriage trade. I never retrieved Willie's notebook. 
the German support of the Russian revolutionaries continued. However, the Allies defeated Germany and imposed a humiliating peace. But not before the German military convinced a revolutionary Russia to leave the war. Eventually, Lenin replaced the feeble Russian Empire with a communist one. There were totalitarian stirrings in Germany as well. But with no strong man to lead them, parties like the Nazis never amounted to much. With Berlin no longer a check against communist expansion, the Soviet tidal wave swept over Europe. Today, April 14th, 1942, it's Britain's turn now. They say we've lost our chains, but it's our freedom that's vanished instead. If only the past could be changed. Pardon.